starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. It has felt pretty nice outside today and it still feels pretty nice outside right now. Temperature is currently in the mid to upper 60s and low to mid 70s in most locations. And it has been breezy throughout the day and there is still a bit of a breeze around right now. Sustained wind speeds currently between 10 and 20 miles per hour, but overall the wind hasn't been too bad today. And on the Opportunity Bank ICANN, we have had partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day, but even though there has been a lot of cloud cover around, most locations have been dry and that's still the case right now. A couple showers around in the higher elevations, especially in the northwestern part of Lewis and Clark County, but most of us are currently drying. As we head through tonight and into tomorrow, high pressure is going to build into our area, which is going to provide us with some very nice weather for tomorrow. But then cold front will bring some changes to our weather as we head into tomorrow night and into Friday. Tonight, though, it's going to be a fairly quiet night of weather. The wind is going to diminish this evening, and then we'll just have a light breeze around overnight tonight. Temperatures tonight are going to be on the cool side with lows in the 40s for most of us, and we are going to have partly cloudy skies and dry conditions throughout the night. Heading into your day tomorrow, we are going to have some sunshine around during the morning, but the cloud cover is going to be on the increase throughout the day, so it will turn mostly cloudy as we head into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. And for a lot of tomorrow, we are going to be dry, but as we head into tomorrow evening, especially after about 4 p.m., there are going to be some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms around, especially in southwestern and south central Montana. A lot of us will be dry, but the will be a few isolated showers and thunderstorms around, so make sure you keep an eye of the sky if you are going to be outside at all. And then as that cold front gets closer to our area tomorrow night, there will be some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms around, and then we'll continue to have some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms around on Friday as that cold front does work its way through our area. We are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies during the day on Friday as well. Mostly non-severe thunderstorms are expected, but with any thunderstorms that do develop, gusty winds and small to medium-sized hail are possible as well as frequent lightning. So just be aware of that if you are going to be outside at all. For your day tomorrow, it's also going to be a pretty warm day. High temperatures are going to be topping out in the 70s and the 80s for a lot of us. And just take a look at the high temperatures tomorrow. Upper 70s and low 80s. And I wouldn't be surprised if some locations even topped out in the mid 80s. So one of the warmest days that we have had this month. And then heading into Friday, again, there are going to be some scattered showers and thunderstorms around. But really the bigger story on Friday is going to be the wind once those showers do work their way through our area. The wind won't be terrible as we start the day out, but the wind is going to increase throughout the morning. It will be breezy for most of the day on Friday. Sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour and wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. That wind will then diminish as we head into Friday night. It's still pretty mild on Friday, but temperatures cool down into the 60s on Saturday with scattered rain showers around, especially during the second half of the day. Then it's going to be very wet as we head into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with rain likely, and there will be snow around in the mountains, and it will be pretty cold as well with highs only in the 40s and 50s. Then the weather will improve as we head into the middle of next week. In Great Falls, 81 tomorrow, 75 on Friday. Still pretty nice on Saturday, but then it's going to be wet and cool on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday.